So I've been busy installing the new SV25 air quality sensor and uh, thought to share some notes with you. Uh, first of all, if you missed the announcements, we just revamped our entire sensor range. Uh, so now we're at series two and instead of just having the one option as we had with SV11, we now have three variants, the SV21, 23 and 25, with the 25 being the most advanced as it has the most number of sensors. Now you might be wondering, why is the sensor on the wall and not on the ceiling? And that is because I'm very, very interested in tracking CO2. The accumulation of carbon dioxide can impact people producing things such as fatigue, drowsiness, and even spreading respiratory illnesses. So it's very, very important to track it and make sure that the ventilation of the space is adequate. Now, as opposed to a use case for tracking vape, where we recommend uh, the placement of the sensor on the ceiling, with CO2, you're looking at a wall placement at around four to six feet, because in itself, CO2 is much heavier and will actually not linger towards the ceiling. Now, I should have put this a bit higher up. However, my snack cupboard is just there on top. So probably not a great idea to always uh, smash the device every time I open it. Another reason I use this space is because near me, I have my gas boiler to heat the water in the house. And this sensor also tracks carbon monoxide, an invisible gas that can be deadly. Now, this is not a life safety device, so don't go and replace your existing systems. However, if you want to have more visibility, especially remotely, this is a great add-on. Now, on top of this, uh, the device will also be tracking things such as particulate matter, TVOC, uh, an air quality index, uh, and any sort of motion. So my plan is to integrate it with my alarm system. So in case the sensor senses motion in front of it, or maybe the temperature or humidity goes up, it will automatically trigger an alarm. Now, as you can see here, I don't actually have a direct connection uh, to my infrastructure. I'm using a simple uh, layer two switch that can provide the device with a PoE. And then I'm using a power adapter to back all everything upstairs where my main router is. Remember, Vercada devices are very, very easy to install. They don't really care of what's upstream as long as they get power and access to the internet. All the sensors come with mounting plates and also a Torx screwdriver that will allow you to secure them together. And one last thing, in case you haven't noticed it, the status light is white instead of blue. And this is because we really wanted the sensor to blend in within the environment and not draw too much attention. If you're interested in finding out more, join one of our webinars or contact us for a free trial.